Hi there. In this video, we're going to be looking at the phonetic chart. I'm Colin Munro, and this is the English Language Club. At first, it looks like a meaningless collection of symbols, but each symbol represents a different sound. In spoken form, most of the English language can be broken down into 44 separate sounds. The phonetic chart shows us how these sounds relate to each other. There are three sections to the chart. Single vowels, or monophthongs in green, diphthongs in red, and the consonants in blue. The first section is the single vowel sounds. These are sometimes called the monophthongs. When we think about the alphabet, we normally think of there being five vowels. A, E, I, O, and U. However, there are many ways that these letters are pronounced, so the pronunciation is very inconsistent. This makes things very difficult when learning English, especially as in many other languages, the vowel sounds are pronounced more consistently with how they're spelled. On the top row, we have the sounds E, I, U, and O. With all these sounds, the mouth is almost closed and the sound is made at the top of the mouth. That's why they're on the top row. On the second row, we have the sounds E, U, U, and O. Now the mouth is a little more open and it feels like the sounds come straight out through the middle of the mouth. That's why they're on the middle row. On the bottom row, we have the sounds a, 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 and o. To make these sounds, our mouth should be almost wide open and it feels like the sound is coming from the bottom of the mouth and that's why they're on the bottom row. The columns are also important because they give us an idea of the position of our tongue. With the left column, the tongue is at the front. E, E, A. Moving back a little, I, A, and A. Back a little more, U, uh, A, A. And now finally at the back, U, O, O. The second section is the diphthongs. On our chart, that's the section in red. Diphthongs are also vowel sounds but they're a combination of two vowel sounds that appear, to, that appear together within the same syllable, producing a new, unique sound. They're arranged according to the second sound. In the first column, we have the U uh sounds. Ear, Ua, and air. In the second column, we have the I sounds. We should note here that the symbol for these diphthongs are written with the i symbol, but the sound is often the longer but similar e, a, oi, and i. And in the third column, we have the u symbol. Again, sometimes the sound is more similar to the longer u, as in o and ow. The third section is the consonant sounds. The first two rows are sometimes called consonant pairs. This is because the sounds of each pair are produced in a very similar way. Let's look at the first pair. P and B. The sound is very similar, but the physical shape of the mouth is almost exactly the same. The only difference is B is voiced, which means that we use our vocal cords to produce the sound. If you feel your neck when you say the sound, you should feel some vibration. B, B, B. 
P, P. Now, if you say P, if you say it correctly, you won't feel that vibration. P, 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 P. The same is true for the next pair. T and D. D is voiced and T isn't. D, T, D, T, D, T. And J, and J. J, 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 J. K, G, K, G, K, G. Finally, on the bottom row, we have the single consonants. Mm. 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 So you can see now that the phonetic chart is not just a random collection of symbols, but a useful tool for learning correct pronunciation. For an even more detailed uh, explanation of one of the sections, click on one of the annotations on the left of your screen. We've also produced an interactive chart using YouTube's annotations. So you can click on a symbol and it will jump to the part of the video and play that sound so you can listen over and over again to the sounds that you want to study. Remember, you can have online classes with me or one of our other teachers. Check out our website for details. You can also find us on Twitter, Facebook and Skype. If you've got any questions or comments, please get in touch. We're here to help.